Today I'd like to show you some tips on how you can cut out your paper towel. So when you have a print such as this and there are lots of little areas where you need to come out from there, it's best to cut out from them. So if you put your knife in there initially, bring it around like that, this is almost making a V cut, then position your knife back into exactly the same place and come out the other side like that. Then you'll find that you get a nice clean drop out. If you cut into the piece like so, you're more than likely to do an overcut like that. And then coming around and cutting in like that. You'll find that you've got a little overcut running in there and when you go to colour the edge off with your pen, this is where the pen will run into the print, making a messy look. So the best way to cut around a piece is to use a bevel cut. Place your knife here on the side. Lean slightly to the right if you're right-handed or you'll lean slightly to the left if you're left-handed. And this will give you a nice beveled edge. It means that when you're working on a heavier paper, you'll find that your edge has a little bit of a, a bevel to it, exposing less of the white when you cut out. So if you do just a straight cut, and I'll just do that down the side of the leaf like that, you're going to get quite a thick white edge. Whereas on this one here, you won't have quite as thick an edge. So it's easier to color off and it's a neater finish. So when you're going to cut a curve, and I'll use this print like this, or a circle. Start at one point here and gradually turn a little bit as you go. Don't try and go too far. Pick up the print, turn it, leave the knife in the print and continue further with your curve. Again, turn the print. So your knife is not being lifted out, so you're not going to have any sharp or jagged edges. So it's just turning the print. And then removing your piece. So you then don't have a lot of jagged edges. I've got one little point there. This can be um, trimmed with your scissors just to remove it slightly and that will be nice and round for you. Now sometimes if your paper's thicker, you'll find that the edge may lift. And I've got a little bit of extra there. So you just, just carefully trim that back. Don't try and take off too much or when you shape it, your image will be too small. So that's your circle. The same principle applies for cutting around the outside of the petals because they're also rounded or curved. So we're going to cut like that and turn your paper. Again, turn your paper. Then you won't get any jagged or pointy bits on the petal that you really don't want. So then you get a nice rounded edge like so.